And as fallout fears grow, one Southern California man is taking measures into his own hands by setting up a radiation monitoring station that everyone can use. Cheryl Gatwiza live in Santa Monica with more on that story. Cheryl. And micro-radiation particles from Japan's nuclear power plant haven't reached Southern California, but by now we know it is possible. And currently, there is no way for folks to openly and publicly check to see how hot the radiation levels are, well, until now. This is what's going on in L.A. Basin right now, uh, based on this detector. This is a nuclear radiation monitor. Just like its name says, it monitors or picks up radiation levels in the air. Michael Collins set it up in his Santa Monica home to let you see what's going on. The average amount is about 40 to 46 counts per minute. If you got higher than that, if you got into the 120, 120, 30 range, and that's a time for concern. Today, there was a hydrogen explosion at Japan's stricken Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Officials say radiation levels are now extremely high. Even so, radiation levels would have to reach 35,000 feet high to get into the jet stream for radiation particles to travel. Then it would take a few days to get to Northern California, and by that time, it should have diluted over the Pacific Ocean. But Collins says you should still be concerned. Unless the reactions can be stopped in those stricken reactors, what you could see is a full meltdown, burns its way down through the earth until it hits the water table, and then with all that water in the water table creates a huge explosion which would shoot tens of thousands of feet into the air. Collins says right now levels are normal, but as the situation in Japan continues, he wanted you to be able to check for yourself. We don't have any system where the public has access to that information in live time. And with uh, radiation, you better know about it right away. And again, right now, it is extremely unlikely that radiation particles could reach Southern California. Uh, let us take a live look right now at this live feed from Michael Collins' uh, a nuclear monitoring system. If you'd like to check it out yourself, you can just go to our website, ktla.com. We've created a link. That is the latest here in Santa Monica. I'm Cheryl Gatwiza, KTLA 5 News. Michael, we'll send it back to you. Cheryl,